India attained independence on August 15, 1947, after a prolonged struggle for self-rule. Much has been accomplished in the long march since her rebirth. The country having risen to become one of the largest economies of the world today. Science and technology have played a pivotal role behind every facet of growth and transformation of the nation over the last 75 years, catalyzed by R&D efforts of many organizations which have been established over the decades. Department of Atomic Energy or DAE is one of the prominent departments which has made significant contributions. The Atomic Energy Commission was constituted in 1948, soon after independence, and the DAE was established in 1954. Thus began India's journey in harnessing atomic energy for peaceful purposes under the far-sighted leadership of Dr. Homi Jahangir Bhabha, the great scientist and visionary. Elected President of the first International Conference on Peaceful Uses of Atomic Energy at Geneva in 1955, Dr. Bhabha played an important role in creating awareness and fast-tracking the use of atomic energy for peaceful purposes all over the world. The immense concentration of atomic energy has made possible other developments whose immediate results have been less happy and which have placed a pall of fear over the peoples of the world. A widespread atomic power industry in the world will necessitate an international society in which the major states have agreed to maintain peace. Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, who took over the reins of DAE after Dr. Bhabha, was an able and dynamic successor. He continued to carry forward and expand the atomic energy programs of the nation to greater heights. Activities in India started in earnest with the setting up of Apsara, the first research reactor of Asia at the atomic energy establishment Trombe, which is now known as the Baba Atomic Research Center or BARC. A second 40 megawatt research reactor, Cyrus, was commissioned in 1960 followed by a 100 megawatt research reactor Dhruva in 1983 and a recently built Apsara U reactor in 2018. Radioisotopes produced in these research reactors play a key role in the development of applications related to radiation technology such as in healthcare, agriculture, food preservation and several other societal programs of DAE. Associated activities such as uranium mining, refining, fuel fabrication, fuel reprocessing and waste management were commenced in parallel at BARC and other locations for sustaining the research reactor and power reactor programs. DAE also embarked on R&D programs in numerous disciplines carried out primarily at BARC Mumbai, which is the mother institute of DAE. This large integrated center supports research activities in multiple domains such as physics, chemistry, biology, material science, electronics, etc. Nuclear power generation in the country commenced with the setting up of two power reactors at Tarapur, Maharashtra in 1969. Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited has the comprehensive capability to design, construct, commission and operate nuclear power plants. 22 nuclear power plants are currently operational in India. A state-of-the-art, fully indigenous 700 megawatt electric reactor at Kakrapar, Gujarat has recently been connected to power grid. It incorporates enhanced safety features typical of generation 3 plus reactors. The department comprises of several institutions which harness the power of atom and contribute to nation building. Atomics Minerals Division was constituted in 1949 to prospect and mine for uranium in the country. Nuclear fuel complex was set up in 1971 for manufacturing fuel for nuclear power plants. It is the largest integrated fuel manufacturing facility at a single location anywhere in the world with a capacity of 1,500 tons per year. Electronics Corporation of India Limited 
was established in 1967 to meet the needs for design and manufacture of highly complex and reliable instrumentation and control systems for nuclear reactors. Heavy Water Board came into existence in 1969 for the manufacture of heavy water required in pressurized heavy water reactors. Manuguru Heavy Water Plant is today the largest heavy water manufacturing plant in the world. Indira Gandhi Center for Atomic Research was created in 1971 for research in fast breeder reactors. Raja Ramanna Center for Advanced Technology was born in 1984 for carrying out cutting-edge R&D in lasers and accelerators. Amongst the numerous societal applications, diagnosis and treatment of cancer is one of the most important rings of DAE operations. Tata Memorial Center, under the aegis of DAE, is a pioneer in cancer research and treatment in the country. About half a million patients, including thousands from outside the country, receive treatment every year at an economical cost. More than 240 hospitals across the country have been linked into a National Cancer Grid, or NCG, to share knowledge and resources for uniform and better treatment outcomes. One of the recent noteworthy contributions of DAE in cancer treatment is an eye plaque using radioactive ruthenium for treatment of ocular cancer. DAE formulates radiopharmaceuticals, coordinates clinical trials, creates harmonized protocols and provides imaging services. Millions of procedures are carried out at DAE centers every year. DAE has an extensive program on mutation breeding for developing improved seeds for various crop varieties. 49 trombe crop varieties including groundnut, rice, mustard and pulses with improved characteristics like higher yield, early maturity, improved disease resistance, drought tolerance etc. have been developed and are being cultivated extensively in the country. DAE has also developed irradiation technology for preservation of fruits, vegetables, pulses, spices, seafood etc which reduces wastage, thereby improving the viability, profitability and availability of these products. Food preservation is also served by the liquid nitrogen-based reefer system developed by DAE for refrigerated transport of vegetables, fruits, seafood, etc. Technologies for smart cities such as radiation-based sludge hygienization and sewage treatment are also finding users in large urban centers as eco-friendly and sustainable methods of urban waste treatment. The hygienized sludge fortified with nutrients makes extremely good manure and is marketed under the brand name BioGold. DAE is an active participant in several international mega science programs such as CERN, FAIR, ETA, LIGO, SKA, etc. A massive cryostat, which is the largest terrestrial vessel in the world, has been built and delivered to ETA in the recent past. DAE is a proactive partner of International Atomic Energy Agency in the area of research and training related to nuclear science and technology across the globe. India has also entered into civil nuclear cooperation agreements and regional cooperation agreements with several countries with the objective of developing mutually beneficial scientific and technical cooperation for the peaceful uses of nuclear energy. Some noteworthy initiatives in this direction include exporting radioisotopes to partnering countries, providing indigenous radiotherapy equipment, Bhavatron, to partnering countries, bridging the global gaps in cancer care by launching the NCG Vishwam Cancer Care Connect, a linkage for sharing information, knowledge and expertise. Creating a dedicated center known as the Global Center for Nuclear Energy Partnership to promote collaborative research and training programs. With eyes firmly fixed on the future of the nation and indeed the entire humanity, 
DAE continues to strive towards extending the benefits of its expertise and knowledge in the true spirit of Vasudhev Kutumbakam. The world is one family.